Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's what it is. It's, I have to make it bigger. I, I'm sorry about that. Okay. So there we go. We're going to do it that way. Okay. Whew. Okay. So some, some of my students in some other classes, right, for statistics, they go, oh, Mr. Judge, what did you just do? You gave me some box plots to compare. And oh, man, how do you do that? Like, for example, look at question 10. Okay, so I want to make sure you guys understand something here. They're having you compare which music genre has longer tracks. So if you read this here closely, at the bottom, okay, this scale, evidently, it measures what? The length of time in minutes. Okay, can, can you guys see that there? Measure the length of time. Did you guys see the study guide? Anybody look at that? You guys know it was there? Maybe not. Okay. I put a study guide for you guys. Oh my God. Good. So, okay. We're going to compare track lengths in minutes. And then it says, which genre has longer tracks? So if you want to compare the length here, a very good way to do that is to compare summaries. So for number 10, you want to compare the summaries. The problem is you have three types. What are the summaries? The mean, the median, and the what? The mode. These are also known as what? Centers. Is that true? Do you guys remember that? And they're also known as the averages. So when we compare, we like to compare the centers, which are also the summaries. The problem is, when they give you a box plot, what does that even mean? Do you guys know? Do you have the mean? Do you have the mode? Which summary do you have access to? Only the what? The median value. Is that true? Because box plots have what? They don't have the mean. They don't have the median. They don't have the mode. I'm sorry. They have the median. They don't have the mode. They don't have the mean. So they have medians. So that's going to be the centers that we compare. You just have to know, how can I read this to find the median value in a box plot? So where's your median value? What's the median value for rap? They're really asking you, can you read a box plot, ladies and gentlemen? Geez, you're not even performing any math, are you? You're just reading. Can you read? What's the median for rap? Yeah. Take a look. This is the rap. Isn't it right here? Isn't it four minutes for rap compared to what? Four minutes and 80 seconds for what? For metal. So when they say which one has the longer track, what is it going to be? Anybody know? Four minutes and 80 seconds for what? For metal, okay? So the answer is simple, it's what? It's metal, would you guys agree? Easy peasy lemon squeezy? Wow, what do you guys think? Reading box plots isn't so bad, is it? Okay, all right. Now, let's look at question number 11. You guys okay with that question? Not too bad. Evidently, this is data. It says the box plots below represent data collected on the length of recorded tracks from top, from top 100 rap and top 100 heavy metal music charts. Wow, okay. Compare the significance, number 11, of the track lengths 440 or above for both distributions. Oh, right. 440 or above. Okay. So I'm going to look for 440. 440 is where? Right here. Do you guys see it? 
So what's so special about 440 for both of those genres looking at the box plot? What do you guys notice? Well, let's be careful here, right? For rap, what's the significance of 440? Do you guys remember how to read a box plot in general? Let's do this here. Okay, remember this for a box plot. What do you guys have? What's the first, what's this first whisker line represent going back? Do you guys remember? Isn't that the minimum value? And then this is the what? Maximum. Do you guys remember this? Minimum and what? Maximum values. Is that right? And then what's that first line represent? Yes, the first quartile. Is that true? Good. What's the second line represent? That's the what? Second quartile, also known as the median. What does the third line represent? You guys remember? That's going to be what? That's your third quartile. Is that true? That is the five number summary, yeah, exactly. Okay, pretty good, you guys remember? That's what the box plot shows you. So when they say, look at this 440, well, why is that so significant? Well, for rap, okay, 440 for rap, isn't that the value of what? The third quartile? So for rap music, um, I don't know what color. I'm going to do this. 440 for rap music. Should we do rap music in orange? I don't know. That's the third quartile. So what does that mean? It means 25% of the songs are longer than 440, but 75% of the songs are what? shorter so you can say here for 11 for rap okay the third quartile is that four minutes and 40 seconds for metal what is that what is that value for metal though let's paint that green i guess what do you guys think for metal what does that represent Exactly, that's the first quartile for metal. 25% of the songs are below 440. The first quartile value is 440. So 25% are below that because isn't this P25 and this is P75? Do you guys remember those things? So in number 11, they want you to know, hey, what's, what's the significance of that number? Well, it's just kind of that simple. 440 represents the third quartile for rap, but it is the first quartile for metal. Interesting observation, yes. Yeah, just like what I'm sharing with you guys. We're kind of going through these kind of questions, right? 11, compare the significance of the track lengths at 400 at four uh four minutes and 40 seconds or above right so they're really saying or above what does that mean so here's what that means this is 440 or what above okay here's how i would give the answer for rap This is for rap. Twenty five percent of the track lengths are 
above four minutes and what? 40 seconds. Okay? Because they're saying are above. Now for metal, what do you guys know? 75% of the track lengths are above the four minutes and 40 second mark. Four forty or above. That's what you see here. A picture is worth what? A thousand words. There's your picture. And that's number 11. They say, compare the significance of the track lengths for 4 minutes and 40 seconds or above for both the distributions. It's number 11. Bless you. Okay, what does number 12 say? Describe the skewness for the heavy metal. Okay, skewness now. Let's get rid of all this. Heavy metal. You guys remember what we talked about in, in terms of being skew? What it skewness for heavy metal? What is that? What, you guys remember that what we're talking about? What 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 would you guys say for heavy metal about the skewness? You guys remember this whisker, this left whisker is longer than the right whisker. Is that right? This left box, and I guess maybe you want to look at it down here. This left length is bigger than the right length. What did that mean? Do you guys remember? Left skew. Left skew. Outstanding. You guys can do this. Look at that. Those other students were scared of these questions. So the distribution for metal is what? Is left skew. Okay, I can just erase that and leave the important details there. Left skew. Nice. All right. So that's the answer for number what? 12 here, I guess. And I'll put the answer over here. Left skew. And, you know, and that's what they gave us as what? Options. Do you guys see how doing homework helps you? Good job. Now, look at number 13, right? Number 13 says... Can you describe the skewness of the rap music distribution? So let's look at rap now. And I'll do this in green. Okay, for rap, what do we notice? The left whisker looks to me to be the same as the what? Right whisker. In fact, I think they are. Is that true? How do we know? Looks like 320 to 360. Isn't that 40 seconds? And then what else? 440 to 480. Isn't that also 40 seconds? Oh, so the left whisker and the right whisker are the same. Okay, now, how about this distance over here? From 360 to the median, Right, that's another 40. And then from the median to that first quartile, 440. Oh, that's the same as well. So it's 40 as well. <coughs> what do we say then? The distribution is what? Normal. Good. It's the same. Normal. Yeah, it, it's, the, it's that weird combination. So the answer for 13 is what? Normal distribution. Easy, pe easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, you guys see this here? Not too bad. Nice, okay, now let's go back to our box plot. What percent of the data is between the minimum value and the first quartile? 
25%. What about between the first quartile and the second quartile? 25%. What about between the second quartile and the third quartile? And between the third quartile and the max? All right, you guys okay with that? If I say it to you, we can describe this as being in the what? Top 25%. It's to the right, okay? Top 25%. Where this is going to be, what's that going to be? The bottom what? Bottom 75%. Does that make sense? Top 25% versus the bottom 75%. So you have that information here. And then similarly, you know what we can do? We can say this. We can say this portion here can be described also as the what? The, the bottom what? Bottom 25%. where this portion over here is going to be the what? Top 75%. So that might help you with some of the questions on your what? on your study guide because this is about comparing here um, or looking at the box plot in more detail. So just go back and remember those details, okay? You guys have that? So I just wanted to address that concern in case you guys had that concern. Yeah? Um, the test is going to be, if you look at the study guide, okay? Yeah. So what I'll do here is I'll, I'll, you know, of course you have the, at your disposal, you'll have that um, summary sheet, you know, I gave you guys. And you say, well, which summary sheet is that? Well, let's go over here. Remember that statistic summary sheet? So every student get this, gets this summary sheet to use. Anyway, it um, doesn't really have much for you to use, though. Uh, and then, of course, you have your question and answer sheet. Make sure you put your answers on the answer sheet. Yes, you use your, your calculator. Um, I think the other class this morning um, let's give you guys the same exact information, see if you remember. Do you guys remember, what's the definition of your, of IQR, the interquartile range? Do you guys remember that definition? Interquartile range, that's defined to be Q3 minus what? Q1, good. And then you have the mid-quartile range. What's that definition? Q1 plus what? Q3 divided by 2. And then you have the semi-quartile what? What's the semi-quartile range? It's Q3 minus Q1 divided by what? 2. So they're all based on you determining really Q3 and Q1 and then doing the appropriate what? Arithmetic. Is that right? So these definitions, so if I said to you, let's look at what? Let's find one. Let's look at rap music. OK? Q, what is Q1 going to be? Q1 
Q1 is 360, is that true? What is Q3? 440. Three minutes and 60 seconds versus what? Four minutes and 40 seconds. Four forty and three Okay, so what's this one going to be? I think I wrote everything so close together. Yeah. Get rid of that. Okay. In a quartile range, will be 440 minus 360. So, zero point what? Eight. Interquartile what? Range. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, I mean, part of this is simply, can you read the what box plot? What's the mid-quartile range? Three sixty plus four forty divided by two. So I'll put a parenthesis there. Three point six zero. Plus the 4.40, close that, divide by what? 2. Anybody know? What do you get? It's 4, is that right? Okay. So this measures our dispersion, by the way. So we're looking at some dispersion. Okay, so far, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And finally, the semi-quartile range. Here we go. Four what? Forty minus three what? Sixty divided by two, and what do you end up with? Zero point what? Zero point four. So I just want to go over again, how do you read this and how do you use those definitions, okay? Because you have it on your study guide, but it comes back to being able to read simply a what? The box plot. Well, you got to read the box plot and you got to use the definition. And, you know, it might actually be that you even have to use your calculator, right? Easy peasy what? Lemon squeezy. You guys see what I'm saying? And, you know, and that's the kind of the stuff we discuss. Comparing what? This is comparing track links. Really comparing box plots. All right. Anybody have any questions on that? Do you want to do the metal? 
Want to do metal too, just for fun? Anybody here want to do the? Me Anybody here like metal? Whatever that is. Do you like metal or do you like rap? Should we take a survey? We're the rap folks in the room. We're the rap people. Any rap people? No. There has to be somebody. Any metal people? Raise your hand. Whatever that is, metal. Okay. What's your favorite metal, whatever that is? I don't even like the word metal. Sounds weird, doesn't it? Metal. Okay, what's your favorite metal? You guys don't have a favorite? Guns and Roses, is that metal? Don't know. Metallica, I think that might be metal. Is that true? Because you got heavy metal and you got metal and... What's metal and heavy? Classic, Classic metal now, they might talk about. <laughs> I have no clue. When I was a kid, it wasn't even called metal. I mean, I guess it was. It was hard rock. You had rock, and then you had hard rock, and then they had this thing called metal. And I guess really what metal was back in the day, how it started, was like Judas Priest. And you guys, I don't even know who Judas Priest is. Do you guys know who Judas Priest is? Those of you guys that like metal? Judas Priest. No, you guys don't know them? <laughs> yeah, isn't that interesting? Yeah, I don't even know. It's, I, it's hard to really categorize it all now. I don't really know the definitions. I don't even think there's valid definitions of it all. Metal, heavy metal, glam metal. Rock, hard rock. It's kind of difficult to de define, right? Yeah, and then you got that. What do you guys have now? Classic metal. I like that one. New metal. Are they, are they all new metal? And you metal, right, right, right. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I hear you, you new metal. Anybody else want to share their favorite metal act? What's your favorite? Avenge Sevenfold. Anybody else? You like Ozzy Osbourne? His new stuff or his old stuff? What do you like? The old, they're called oldies. <laughs> I think I was in middle school when that stuff was coming out. The oldies. I was in middle school when the oldies started. Right, anybody else? Who's your favorite events? Huh? Mortician? I don't think I've heard of that one. Mortician. Is that new metal too? Grind. That's a new one. I gotta look that up. Grind. What is grind? So many different genres. Grind. I gotta look that up. So ask AI. I don't think I get internet service out here. Grind. Oh, I'm gonna have to grind music genre. I don't have to. Grind music is characterized by its fast tempo often exceeding 200 beats per minute. The songs are typically short in length with many tracks lasting under a minute. Oh, that's exactly what we're talking about, track lengths. So many of the tracks last under a minute. Wow, I didn't know that. The genre is known for its distinctive vocal style, which ranges from guttural growls to high pitch shrinks. What's grindcore? Is that the same thing? Yeah. Grindcore. Extreme metal. Hardcore punk. Napalm death. Characteristics. So it looks like it's kind of related to punk. Thrash metal. 
I'll have to look it up. I don't want to play it because then my, my video will get flagged. You know what I mean? They'll, they'll ban my video forever for copyright infringement. Anyway. I got to post it so people can learn how to do some what? Yes. They learn all this stuff. And I, I hear a lot of people use it, but I don't know. I don't have very many likes. So I always say, I hope Elon Musk buys my website. I don't think he's going to buy it. There's not a lot of likes there. But I don't get it. How come a lot of people use it, but yet... You guys, do your friends use the website? Do you guys know? Is there any friends who are not even in the class, but they use this? That's what I hear. Hmm. Should we try the last one? Let's look at metal. I forgot what color. I was a green. Yeah, I don't know. Some of it's kind of a, it's a little weird sometimes. I remember when I was a kid. Just all the different genres are kind of, hmm? You never keep it straight. Were the Scorpions metal? You guys know, I don't know who the Scorpions are. Is Van Halen metal? I don't know who that is. You guys don't know. 440 and five minutes. 440 in five minutes. So let's see if we could do this fast. What do you guys think? Okay. Punch those numbers in. Five minutes minus 440. So I'm going to do that in the calculator. Let's clear that out. 5.00 minus 4.40. You get 0 0.6 minutes. The interquartile range is 0.16. Q3 minus Q1, and then I'm going to go back down here, though. Q3 minus Q1, now divided by 2, so I can take that same answer and just do, um, this, sh this should be an answer somewhere. Oh, second, here's, take the answer, prior answer, divided by 2, 0.3. So, ladies and gentlemen, you guys can do that. The semi quartile what? Range. Okay, let's get the mid quartile range. Q1 plus Q3. Adam, divide by two. I'm going to use the parentheses. 440 plus five minutes. Close that, and then you divide by what? Two, what do you guys get? Four minutes and what? 70 seconds. And so we did the same analysis, measuring dispersion here, but this time with what? with metal music. So it just comes down again, can you read your box plots? Okay, you guys okay with that? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Should we let you guys go so you can get started with your study guide and study for your test on what? On Tuesday, you guys, that's right, you're a different class. You guys come back on Tuesday, is that right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, take care, stay safe, have a wonderful day. We'll see you guys later.